is there an exception to every rule? If I were to design the operating system for planet Earth, an operating system to manage all of humanity, logically I'd want everything to work exactly as planned. I'd want consistent relationships between cause and effect. In fact, I'd want every scientific law to be irrefutable, to work perfectly every time, no exceptions. And yet they don't. We live in a world where there is a flaw in every theory, imperfections in every design, in a continual degradation in every object, place, and system over time. There is an exception to every rule. Nothing is permanent, nothing is perfect, and nothing is 100% reliable. We all intuitively know this already, and yet we are constantly striving to make things as close to permanent, perfect, and reliable as possible. But it's not the fact that it's unachievable that's important. It's why our overarching design for humanity works this way. That's what I find most intriguing. For some reason, flawed humans work better with flawed designs and flawed systems, but why? In 1931, Kurt Gödel published his famous incompleteness theorem. They showed that in any mathematical system, there are certain questions that cannot be answered. As a result, mathematicians have come to grips with their inability to understand the universe. It's not that Gödel's theorems are super difficult, rather, they're simply unknowable. His two theorems state, number one, no consistent system of axioms whose theorems can be listed by an effective procedure such as an algorithm is capable of proving all truths about the arithmetic of natural numbers. And number two, if a system is sufficiently complicated, it cannot be both consistent and complete. Beyond what he had originally proposed, Gödel's theorems also confirmed the hypothesis that there is an exception to every rule, saying it's impossible to find a complete and consistent set of axioms for all mathematics. Approaching this topic a bit differently, in 1936, Alfred Tarski proposed his undefinability theorem, stating that the truth is officially undefinable. As humans, we are officially inconsistent, undefinable, and incomplete. As a result, there are certain things in science we cannot know. They are the exceptions to our rules of understandability. One reason is that all of our flaws cause us to need each other. We all have different talents, and we can only accomplish things that are truly significant if we work together. This need for each other is what creates our economy. To put this in perspective, if we have a planet with only one person, there can be no economy. With two people, there will be a very limited economy as we trade things back and forth between those two people. If we grow the number of people on our imaginary planet to 100 people, will the economy be 50 times greater than a planet of two? Actually, it'll be much greater because there will be far more human need and it opens up many more lines of trade. For this reason, a planet of 9 billion people will have a significantly better economy than a world of 6 billion people. At the same time, the economy should not be the only metric we use to analyze a situation. While in the past it is true that we had very few tools for measuring a person's value to society other than power and wealth, today's technology is giving us many new ways to value our contributions. <music>